big one over here is your root chakra. The basis of trust. Trusting yourself as well as others, trying to be more vulnerable and grounded at the same time. And just open. Open to listen to yourself. And then over here, the next largest one is your sacral chakra, which is your sexuality. The next largest one over here is your solar plex chakra, which is your wisdom and your power. Think gut feeling. Oh, I had that feeling in the pit of my gut. Your wisdom and your power, right? Your solar plex is right there. Oh, they sound so beautiful. They sound so beautiful tonight. They're really just singing, right? I, a big part of this is the vibration, the humidity in the air, just the energy. They're not always like this. They're really gorgeous tonight. Moving on, the next largest one here is the center of a lot of my meditations. It's the heart chakra. It's love and healing. And this is where we go deeper into this idea. I'll talk about this a lot in my yoga classes. Opening your heart. Opening your heart. Being vulnerable, which is also being brave. yourself forgiveness and compassion but also being able to offer compassion and give forgiveness to others love and healing your heart chakra and then we're moving up to your throat your throat chakra communication which is as much listening as it is speaking right to truly communicate with someone you, you have to listen give them an opportunity to talk and maybe not always respond so this is huge and that's why we do a lot in yoga, we'll do a lot of like throat locks and work a lot with this area of the body. Um, throat chakra, okay? So, don't necessarily think of it as literal, as necessarily listening to me and what I'm saying. And in fact, it's a good opportunity to bring this up. At a certain point during this sound bath, my words may just melt away. The other thing is, you're going to have your eyes closed and being lying down during this sound bath. So don't worry about which bowl I'm playing. Let me be the one that worries and just let it resonate with your body. And you may at certain points be like, oh, I feel that right here. I feel that right here. I feel that right here. You know, and that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just let it be and just be in the moment. And if you're tired, you may fall asleep and that just means you need sleep. That's all that means. Ultimately, it's for rest, it's to declutter, to descatter the brain and to come into focus for deep relaxation. So, which brings us right here to our third eye, our awareness. If we're scattered and we're wandering in the brain, sometimes called wild horse brain or monkey brain, ruminating, we can't really be aware and completely in our body, focused on our breath. So, I come back to that a lot. And this last one, perhaps the most important, what a beautiful sound. It's our crown chakra. It's outside of the physical body. It's our spiritual. Your body extends beyond the physical, your presence, your soul, your spirit. And, you, and we all know this. We all know this when you can feel someone watching you or, or if someone gets close to touching you but they don't actually 
that game sometimes you played as a kid where you get close to each other, or maybe a yoga teacher's coming in to give you an adjustment. We're very careful about how we approach your body because we know before we ever get to you, you are feeling us, or perhaps someone's giving you a massage, and you know you feel that personal connection long before their hands physically touch you. So when we talk about that rising crown, that kundalini rising, or that uh, crown chakra, that spiritual that's above and outside the body, don't think of that as horribly mystical and magical. It just is. It's reality, and you felt it before. Lean into it. Don't question it. Just, just be. 